feast your eyes on this beast. One of our absolute favorite brands, Transition Bikes from Bellingham, USA. Certainly took their time coming to the e-bike program, but here it is, the debut entry into the Pedal Assist EMTB. This is the repeater. It's a beast. Sorry for swearing, but it is. <laughs> Scotty's been riding it for a few months now. We're lucky to get our hands on it. We did have to wait quite a while. These things are scarce and rare. Um, that said, they are now in supply and stock across Australia. We're gonna tell you all about how this bike rides. Uh, as I said, Scott's been riding it a heap. He's been pushing it to its limits and we certainly found some of them. But before we get into the meat and vegetables of this review, if you like our content, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our new content hitting our channel. Um, give this video a like and if you've got anything you'd like to know about the bike that we don't cover, pop it in the comments below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Now, Scotty, Tell us about the repeater. Man, this thing looks sick. Yeah, mate. Like, even when I, you know, you first uh, rang me and uh, told me that they were going to swing us this uh, repeater for review, I was pretty damn excited. And, like, what, uh, you know, not to be excited about. I mean, just have one look at this bike. You know, it's very easy on the eye. You know, it's definitely a cool piece of machinery. So, suffice to say, uh, in short, it does live up to, you know, its looks, it does ride bloody good. Now Transition, there's a lot of rider own companies for riders by riders, but Transition, it, that it could not be more true. Every single one of their bikes that they've brought out that we've ridden is like, a, it's a hardcore bike. Like it's a real purpose, absolute rip your balls off, excellent tick every box. Mate, this thing, have they kind of knocked it out of the ballpark straight away or have they kind of eased into the bike market with like kind of just their tiptoes in the water? First impressions of this thing when it arrived and you kind of started to have a good look over it in terms of the build quality and where it kind of lines up within the training range. Well, what do you reckon, first impressions? Yeah, mate, like, I mean, uh, there's no secret that, you know, the crew at Revo, um, you know, are super big fans of uh, transition bikes. I've run a ton, uh, ridden a ton of uh, transition bikes in the past. I really like them. They have their own style about them, but, you know, they do suit the sort of style of riding that we, at the, uh, you know, at Revo actually like to ride. So all the trails we like to ride. So when they were bringing this, out this bike, we are pretty excited and like definitely, like they've definitely hit the mark. It's spec really well, all the angles are really well. And, you know, it's uh, definitely the, you know, the type of e-bike that uh, I like to ride. So yeah, I can't knock it. Mate, full carbon frame. There's no mistaking that. This thing is chunky and slick. The lines on it are off the charts. Hit us with the numbers, travel, wheel size, and sort of the main hits that people out there re uh, watching this are gonna wanna know. Yeah, so this is a large, so they, they do a up right from a small right up to a, uh, an extra large. Mm -hmm. Yeah, full carbon frame, uh, full carbon rear end. Uh, this one comes with obviously the Fox suspension platform, carbon one-up bars, anvil stem, anvil saddle, um, one-up dropper, DT wheels, uh, but it also comes with a new, the new EP8 Shimano motor, which is a tried and tested platform, and it comes with a GS axis drive chain, so drive chain, so super neat and overall spec really well. Tell us a bit about the battery. I know, so this is a full power, yep. hardcore e-bike, I guess you'd say. It's, it's not one of them SLs or anything. Um, yeah, what sort of battery does this thing come packing? So this is a 630 watt battery. Okay. So um, I know, uh, you know, a lot of people, if they're doing big laps and whatnot, would prefer maybe a 720 or even a 900. But the thing is with, especially the EP8 motor and the difference in the settings and whatnot as well, the carbon frame, the, uh, you know, happy medium battery, you can still get a ton of riding done on this thing. They've really brought the weight down on this thing as well. So improved handling in comparison to other e-bikes dramatically. So 160 front end, 160 in the back end, uh, lighter frame, smaller battery, so definitely suits the aggressive uh, e-biker out there. Personally, um, I'd go for a small battery every day of the week anyway, because what's the point of lugging around that extra couple hundred watt hours if you're only gonna use it once a month? I want yep. something that I can ride, you know, get the maximum amount of performance-wise and handling every Correct. single ride. Now, talking of performance and handling, uh, how much travel's this thing got? 160 in the back and 160 in the front. So, it's a lot of travel, it's, a, it's made for some big hills. Yeah, like, I mean, we've run e-bikes uh, with a little bit more travel and, you know, we've run e-bikes with a little, you know, a bit less travel. So um, it's definitely that 160 mil is definitely that happy medium. You can punch some really, and like you'll see by the review, we've punched some pretty heavy lines sure. uh, on this bike, but you can still get out and take it for some pretty decent trail rides as well. So I know sort of why they've gone with these numbers and, 
you know, also transition really known for their aggressive geometry as well. So it's not always about suspension travel. It's definitely about angles, which makes your bike handle. And that's what transition done with this thing. All round package. Now, yep. one of the things that really excited me about the repeater when I first saw it uh, as a render on, online, um, was that at a glance, bang, that is definitely a transition. Yep. Yes, it's their first e-bike, yep. but it, it's still got that signature kind of transition yep. look. Um, now tell us, with 160 front and rear 2.9er um, exclusive, where does that kind of slot into their, their current range of um, acoustic mountain bikes? Is it sort of patrolish or is it spirish or sentinel? Yep. What's this thing kind of um, mimic? Yeah, probably, I think in being a 29er front and back, it probably mimics uh, more along the lines of a, uh, their Sentinel. So if you've checked out their Sentinel before, however, it's probably a little bit on the burlier side. So it actually rides, because it's got a little bit more travel, it probably rides a little, little bit more akin to their patrol. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of in between, if that makes sense. Perfect. Now you mentioned before that it pedals really well, and yes, you've got a pedal assist motor, uh, or you the pedal assistance of, of the motor. Um, but in terms of other e-bikes you've ridden, yep. um, in terms of the way they track and handle and how much kind of effort you got to put in to yep. get juice out, uh, where does this thing go? Like, how does it pedal? Is it rear end's relatively short as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty short rear end, like a steeper seat tube angle, angle and as well, but also as uh, they're known with their sort of, um, you know, giddy up, you know, um, suspension design and that SBG technology. Mm -hmm. So the bikes, yeah, are stretched in, in a way, but with that shorter offset fork as well, which counteracts the wheelbase, you're still getting a bike that's nice and planted over the fast, rough stuff, yet being a 29er, still corn as well, and it's still easy to manipulate through sort of those tighter sections as well. Plus with uh, the uh, steeper C-tube angle, yeah, it does really sort of counteract that reach. So again, you can move your weight around, get it over the front more, and when you're getting that seat down with that low standover height, it still creates a nice roomy sort of cockpit area. So. I know, you know, why they've got a reputation for sort of, you know, building bikes that are super well balanced mm. and they haven't missed the mark with this, they've got it on point. Mate, first dive into the e-bike era. Yep. Now, mate, I've been out on the trails with you a bunch of, uh, of occasions over the last few months when you've been on this bike, you've been absolutely shredding. But I'm wondering, is this a bike that's kind of hard to, does it take a lot of effort to kind of get it to that limit where you, you're going fast or is it a bike that's relatively easy to ride? Yeah, like funny enough, like, um, I mean, obviously that does come a little bit down to, you know, set up and knowing the trail and whatnot as well. And again, I did play a little bit around with the suspension settings. And as I mentioned in pre previous reviews, what I've found with e-bikes is I tend to run my suspension a little bit livelier mm -hmm. with these as well. But yeah, mate, like this thing, like, it, once you point this thing downhill and really hit the gnar, like it absolutely loves it. We've had like big jumps, big rough sections, corners, booters, heaps of downhill laps, and we've gone on some pretty solid trail rides on this thing as well. And it's definitely like a really good jack of all trades. Perfect, mate. Transition definitely sound like they have ticked every box straight out of the gates. Now, we were saying this is the first e-bike that Transition have brought out the repeater. Since this thing has been uh, at Revo, the brand has gone and announced a new bike, a Relay, which is like an SL mid-power mid-weight. Um, they're just starting to release. It hasn't officially been released yet, but we've seen uh, images of the bike getting ridden. Um, and Super Sports Australia, which is the distributor for Transition, have already promised us uh, we'll get to have a ride on that thing. I believe they're landing in the country around March. Um, so it's January now, a couple of months away. Super looking forward to that. So if you want to check out a little bit more on the repeater, stay tuned to our channel. And of course, the relay is coming soon as well. Like we mentioned at the start, give our channel a subscribe to stay in touch. Scotty, thanks a bunch as always. One of the nicest bikes we've ever had here at the magazine. 100%, unreal. The transition repeater.